question is no, there is no such policy. It, the second. And, and the Right. Yeah. Well, first of all, all anything dealing with your your uh, your employment application should be transparent. So they, there's nothing hidden in the sense of well, you know, there's some kind of thing going on that you know, wink, wink. No, nothing like that. But as far as things that you may not be aware of, uh, for example, there may be a veteran on the list that is going to get. If if I talked about those categories earlier, and and if you're the way that things work with the, even with the categories, the broad categories is that veterans will go to the top of the list. So you may have been blocked because there was a veteran on the list. There may have been something that came up in a security check, et cetera. So there, there could be things that come up. And, and that's something that you could always check with the individual at the agency to try to find out if something specific barred you. But in terms of, is there a limit on this and people who are unemployed for some, no, 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 no. And if you ever hear of anything like that, there are agencies you can contact to deal with that type of situation. Now, let me, does that sort of answer your question? I know that it's kind of frustrating because you've been doing it for so long. You're probably doing everything that, you've been, that you can. It, it is just, it is a long process. It, took, it, took, it takes most people a while to, to get something because you know, it, sometimes you assume the worst, but the reality is that there's so much competition for these jobs, and sometimes it's a situation of a veteran, sometimes it's a situation of a background thing. There, there are things that happen, or sometimes it's just that the competition is so fierce that you're just not among the highly qualified. So. You know, it, it happens more often than you would think. Before I continue, um, is Tim nearby? Okay. We're, and Jeff, we're, I don't want to take too much time because I'm kind of supposed to turn, turn, turn the baton over at this point. I could stick around for a little bit afterwards if some of you have additional questions. Uh, but I think we want to kind of keep everything on track. I think I'll take maybe just one more question. And if you have additional ones, I'll hang out a little bit after and then you can come and see me. Okay? Uh, yes, sir. Not being an expert in what adjudications are done for those types of things, I do not want to mislead you, saying one way or the other. I don't know. I do, I do know, once again, that there are, everything has extenuating circumstances and everything is judged on an individual, a case-by-case -case basis. So one of the things you might want to do, 